Hi guys, welcome to Who Are We? The podcast where you get to meet the we of We Carry Kevin. I'm your host, Kevin Chandler, and I want to introduce you to some of my friends. As Ryan passes me off to Tony, we make our way home through their neighborhood, and Tony and I become buddies. So is everyone still mic'd up? Is that happening? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool, because I might just keep asking you guys questions. Yeah, do it. Um, so, all right, this is a this is a big oh. one. This is a whopper question. Okay. So, uh, you guys have this between the two of you, uh, the high five and the consistency of, of every day. And, and Tony, I like to tell you, you said earlier, um, you wonder how how much people do have in common if they just could take the time to kind yep. of settle into that and. and look into that more um, into each other and how that would affect kind of the world around them and, yeah. and everything um so what you know you guys have the high five and that works for a one-on-one -on -one. um can we live in a world where everyone is high-fiving everyone all day and like consistently or what what does it look like in a community Is that a fair question? <laughs> well, we've certainly had, you know, I think Kevin, you get this a lot too, like people saying, man, I wish I had friends that would carry me, yeah. you know, or take a trip like this with me. And mm -hmm. I've had people go, man, I'd love to connect with people. And I think it just, you know, and what I've heard you say, Kevin, is, well, you can. Mm -hmm. you, you can have friends like that. And what's required is to be a friend like that. Right. And that's what you are to mm -hmm. so many people. And so it's really a, in some ways, a, a decision that these relationships matter. They're important. There are certain sacrifices that need to be made to sustain any relationship, and friendships are the same. Um, so, yeah, I don't. <laughs> yeah. So maybe the. Uh the intentionality that you have to take yourself. Yeah. Yeah, there's some decisions that have to be made in order to have significant relationships that, that matter and that are you know, formative and important in our lives. Mm. I gave we you did, the uphill. We did at one point. Do you remember this, Ryan? Sometime in the first year, we did think man, could we challenge everybody to give? I mean, because this is, the zip code is the 05 here. Do you remember this? Yeah, that's right. We were going to like try it. to make it a thing. Find a, yeah, start a thing. <laughs> like give high, uh, Some, give one person a high five every day in yeah, the 05, yeah. you know. Yeah. Huh. yeah. That kind of thing. So. so. So what do you think the neighborhood would look like if that did happen? Hmm. Hmm. Like, let's say uh, on day 1,000, mm -hmm. if the whole, just even just your street, <laughs> if that like was happening. One person a high five? <laughs> yeah. Man, we'd know each other more. Yeah, for sure. Well, that's the thing. I don't, we don't know what would happen. Mm. But something would happen. Mm -hmm. Unexpected things that would, would take place, I think. Mm. Because of the connections being made. Mm -hmm. I'm a little more wobbly than Ryan, aren't I? <laughs> That's alright. That's alright. <laughs> so, um, and, and I mean, we've kind of been answering this question the, the whole time, in a sense, but I, I want to ask it so it's asked. Um, this high five idea, um, how does that how does that translate into, um, I guess, what, what we would call kingdom living? <laughs> Kevin, what do you think about that? <laughs> oh, such a pastor move. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. Um, right, let me take a break here for yeah. a second. Yeah, yeah, no problem. 
Brian, can you uh, tip my head to the right side? Maybe with the pad. So just push that. Yeah, just push it over a little bit. There we go. I think that will help. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think just as we've been talking about that it's, um, it's a consistency mm -hmm. um, in people's lives. Um, and maybe that's a, a consistency and um, I'm going to go back to that word, the proximity of consistency in the lives of the people around you. Um, really taking the, the intentional move of seeing them and, and knowing them personally, allowing them to know you. Um, some of that happens naturally when you are intentionally present with them. Um, and then um, allowing that, um, that knowing to um, maybe bolster you for interacting with the, the world that's less immediate around you, hmm. um, but that you're interacting with on mm -hmm. um, maybe a less regular, but you are interacting with them. Um, I think it, it also requires, I think it, consistency and intentionality um, also requires humility yeah. um, to say, well, I, I, you know, like Tony, you were saying, uh, Katie, where, where's Ryan? Because I'm ready to go to bed. You know, you <laughs> right. could just say, hey, Ryan, I'm going to go to bed. I'll, we'll do this tomorrow. Uh -huh. You know, but the humility is laying yourself down, <laughs> or not laying yourself down in this sense of going to bed. Uh, being a, of, of setting yourself aside and saying, no, this is important for, for me and for Ryan and for our families and our, our neighborhood and our churches. Yeah. Um, this mm -hmm. this simple thing and I, that's maybe that's another aspect of kingdom living is the the idea that the consistency does not need to be i'm going to come and mow your lawn every week or i'm going to make you a meal every month yeah. it can be i'm going to wave to you as i walk by your porch yep or um or i'm going to say hi you know it, no, i'm going to know your kids names yeah mm -hmm. i'm going to know your kids names it, it can be um, consistency can be simplicity as well. Yes. Uh, and maybe that's the more powerful because mm -hmm. um, it's not a it's not a tidal wave, it's a drip. Um, and sometimes that quenches your thirst better than one splash. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I just got into water analogies. But <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. Yeah, I think that's to do with my sweat right now. <laughs> so I, that, I think that's it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the the promise of of the kingdom of God too is is friendship, friendship with yeah. with God, mm. and with other people, and so this for me has been you know a foretaste of that. It's mm. uh, getting to enjoy something every day that you know the promise is the promise of God is that we're going to enjoy an eternal relationship of community mm. forever. And whatever every day looks like um, in God's future, we don't fully, can't fully comprehend, but this has been, you know, for me, a way to participate in that and mm. to commit to, to a friend and to get to experience that, the joy that comes with that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think in the kingdom too, uh, now and forever, there's this like, you used the word earlier, Kevin, when we started talking about um, the high five thing, there's a sense of adventure that God calls us to. And so even though the high five, thing, I'm like out of breath, even though the high five thing is like a, such a small thing, it's been like an adventure for us. Mm. And it, that too is a foretaste of what's to come. This is our neighbor Sam. Sam, up, has, Sam? Sam has been a witness to dozens and dozens of our high fives because this is like halfway in between halfway. our two houses. Yes. <laughs> so. I love it. What's up, Sam? That's amazing. <laughs> I love it. Hmm. Yeah, can you talk on that a bit more, Tony? The adventure aspect? Yeah. 
let's take a since you're take, you know take a minute since you're out of breath yeah. that, that might be a good time for you to talk <laughs> oh man um yeah i think you know um in the age to come in the resurrection you know, I think about stories, right? All of our story, we humans are storied creatures. God made us that way. Mm. And our stories now all, always have like a, a bad thing that happens and a villain. Mm. And my sense is, you know, that's not gonna be part of the age to come for sure. Mm. But what takes the place of that and makes it a story, I think it's adventure. Mm. And so I think there's something about being on a kingdom adventure that we're going to be doing kingdom adventures that we're going to be doing forever when when jesus is king and things are made right and we're raised back to life and our, our bodies made right um, and we'll get to explore and who knows the the kind of adventures i mean we can guess at some of them but hmm. just setting up being intentional to set up little ones now uh i think is a foretaste of what's to come hmm. so that's wow yeah there might not be evil or there won't be evil but there will be obstacles and problems to overcome yeah. together Adventure. Mm. Yeah. through with with god and with one another so. mm. and just yeah delving into the heart of another person you know i mean yeah. I, i'm getting to learn that adventure through, yeah yeah that's the that's yeah. the adventure right and and sometimes adventure is, is not necessarily, am I going to survive this? It's, this is so crazy. Right? Yeah. This is so unbelievable. And yeah. So, yeah, I, I love that. Wow. Well, as we, as we get back to our starting place, um, yeah, thank you guys for, for being a part of this and sharing your thoughts. Um, I mean, Ryan, we've, we've been good friends for a few years now, and as we talk about consistency and um, you know, like to supporting one another through uh, those predictable patterns, I, I think um, you are someone that comes to mind when I think of those words of consistency and faithfulness. Um, you have just really been that to me as as a friend and a, a brother in Christ, and. Um, I'm just really thankful for that. I, there are times in my life that I'm like, I, I don't know if I'd be here <laughs> like if, mm -hmm. if it weren't for you. And um, wow. not just physically, but spiritually and emotionally as well. Um, we've really gotten through a lot together. Mm -hmm. and so thank you. Um, and I know that's not, uh, not just my story, but many people's story of, of your friendship. Um, and Tony, I, I was excited about today because uh, someone asked me the other day, well, okay, Paul, he, he said, oh, you're going to hang out with Tony. How well do you know him? I said, well, uh, I've been on Ryan's porch when they five five, <laughs> and that was about it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, after today, I just, I mean, I hope this is the first of many yes, me conversations. Too. Maybe I won't always be on your back. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, but I, you know, I'd love to yeah. join in this, this idea of, um, knowing one another, you know, yes. and, and living within yes. uh, consistency and proximity together. And, I'm um, in, man. I love yeah, it. It'd be an honor. So, thank you guys. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having it's us. It's a real yeah. honor, man.